All right, my beautiful beans and things, it is a new day. And that means another round of Tears of the Kingdom. I am super excited. This game is making me feel like a five-year-old again. I'm just like, oh, what's this? What's this? I like things. There's a thing over there. Let's check out this thing. And then I just completely forget quests. But I'm having a ton of fun. Let's jump right into it. All right. I won't fail you. I will prove my worth. I will prove my strength. Let's go. Nadra? I'm wondering if that's Nadra. Looks like it from the... The blue on the back, but... It's been a while since I've played, so... Can I put a minecart on a shield? Uh, shield surfing's gonna go to a whole new level, huh? Yes! <laughs> it works! Woo! Alright. I have found a very good... <laughs> Link has now invented skateboarding. I am a danger to society. By I, I mean Link. Totally. Yeah, Zelda's definitely going to give me an earful. Like, what took you so long? Well, I invented a new sport that involved minecarts and shields. Can I basically... Destroy you. By... Oh! Uh, I have made terrible mistakes. Terrible mistakes. Can I, can I pull you apart? Uh, okay. Well, I think I just took one of its pieces loose. Can I just basically tear it apart? Uh. <laughs> I want to rip you apart. If you don't have knees, you can't fight me, right? Okay, wait. Ah! Run, 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 run. Oh, shit! Okay, well... Okay, so broke apart, I see. Okay, well... Ah! What? What is this nonsense? Ah! <laughs> Okay, wait, no. Oh, I did hit it. Oh, shoot, no. No, ow. Ow. Okay. Okay. Oh, shoot, everything's on fire. I think that that didn't break. Okay. Okay! We're doing this! Okay. Oh, it's in its back, though. It's fine. Oh, shoot! No! Run! Okay, well, if I just rip it off first. Oh, shoot. Ah! Okay, well, I did take that loose, so. Okay. Okay, this is my strongest, so. Oh, it's doing some good damage. Okay. Okay, well. 
Run, 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 run. Okay. <gasps> yes! Oh! <gasps> we found it. The Nacho Yeah Shrine. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh. <gasps> All right. Our last beginning shrine. I'm ready. And then we can upgrade our hearts so we can fall further. <laughs> oh, so I guess we just need to use the ability that Zelda gave us. Oh, I, I see where this is going. But not yet. Oh. oh no! Ah! Yes. Please back. Oh, it will tell you where it goes. Okay, cool. Good, good, good. Alright. We should be able to make it. Nice. Success! I don't know if this will work, but... Uh, this will work. This will work. This will. No. Oh. Okay. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's go. Okay. We got that. Oh, we should be able to reverse this too. Let's go. Do 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 do. We're getting. Okay. Getting the hang of this. Getting the hang of this yep. definitely. Now this one, I'm not sure. Did that actually get it to go down though, is the question? Maybe we just need to basically wind it up so it goes down all the way. sure what to do with this one. I think I see what I need to do. Okay, yes. Alright. Get it to go at the same time. Okay. There we go. That's the key. Alright. That wasn't so bad. Alright. We have finally leveled up enough Got all the things. We got four shrine things. What are they called? Light of blessing. All right, we have four light of blessings. So that means we can get blessed. All right. Please give me heart. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their lights of blessing. In exchange for four lights of blessing, I will grant you power. Yes. I shall grant the power you seek. <gasps> yes! I just realized how big they are. Oh, and we're purifying ourselves too. Yes, nice. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> All right. A rare item that restores some of the life force you lost to the gloom. Increasing your maximum number of hearts by one. I, it's very interesting. They've moved from malice to gloom. We've run from anger to sadness. All right. Uh, there we go. We gotta be strong. Go and bring peace to the world. All right. 
what lies beyond this door? <laughs> I'm just like bracing, like, I can do this. Two, three. What lies beyond this door? <sighs> Hi. Ah, oh, good. I see you have managed to open the door. Yes, just barely. You haven't fully recovered yet, but that is to be expected. You are almost beyond saving. Fair enough, yeah. By visiting the shrines and receiving their blessings. You have mitigated some of the corruption's effects. Mm. Though our time together has been brief, I am so happy that we finally met. Finally. Mm. You are exactly as Zelda said. I have so many questions. How long was I out? I've done everything I can for her. Did she? Now it is up to you. Oh, bye. I mean, we'll always remember you. I mean, we literally, literally are going to be keeping you by our side. Um, you're a red hand man, literally. So, um, <laughs> let's go. Uh, now that he's gone, we can just keep calling him Frank. Frank the arm. All right. All right. What is awaiting us here? I think we should be able to. Yes. Yes. Oh, almost. Oh. What is that? Oh, okay. Well, up and down, up and down. Is this another blessing? Is it a paraglider? Because that would be useful. Well, we get a sun. Praise the sun. Oh, uh, wait, no. Okay. <laughs> um, you know, you could have explained this to us, Raru. Um, touch, touch the glowing light. You know you desire to. It's glowy, therefore you must touch. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Is this a way to heal the master sword? All right. Power up. Maybe you can get more than one damage with it. All right, here we go. We're gonna power up, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> oh. Oh. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, wait, is it turning back time to fix it? Oh, <gasps> I think she is maybe in the past. I mean, that would make sense then how Raru knows her. And why there's statues that look to be. At <laughs> least, like, you stole my weapon? I'm supposed to fix the Master Sword. What am I supposed to do? Oh, no. Oh, hi, dragon. I mean, I wanted to meet you, but I don't know if this is under good circumstances. <gasps> oh, is 
it finally dissipating? <gasps> Do we finally get to see Hyrule? the true start to the game oh my gosh oh this is finally it um are we supposed to just dive off of this all right this seems like danger there, there seems like there's water down there all right let's go uh, yeah, dive. That's, that's fine. Okay. Oh, this is how we maneuver. Cool. Let's not get too far away from shore. We don't have that much stamina. Woo! Again, this is very much not how water works. <laughs> I have no idea how to, well, I guess we can warp. Get back. <gasps> uh, Death Mountain looks like it's seen better days. Um, I'm not sure what I'm seeing over there. What is that? Is that a tower? Okay, there's, there's a shrine. That's good. Maybe these are warp towers? Kind of like the Sheikah towers? Uh, Hyrule Castle has also definitely seen bad better days so uh wow okay let's start our exploration yes this is definitely the true beginning of our, our journey yeah you can't even whoa. whoa 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 what is this what is this what is this nonsense something is falling Blink. Can we use that then to ride up? Oh, this is just like... I feel like I'm five years old again. I'm just like... Such adventure. Okay. Yay. So I guess you have to like break through the cloud barrier. I feel like I might need to upgrade this because I feel like this is not going to get me all the way to the... Nope! Um... Does this count towards fall damage? Wait, can I just rewind it again? Oh! Right! There doesn't seem to be a cooldown timer. I did not think about that. Oh wait, no, oh no, never mind. Um Well, I guess we're gonna find out if this fall counts as fall damage. <laughs> we either gonna have a great time or a terrible time. Not sure. I I mean it's it's the rock that takes the damage, right? Okay! We're fine. Again. This is not how physics work, but I just want to look for a horse. I need a horse. That's my first goal. Well. Well, that didn't work. No, uh, no one's here. Uh, you're just, uh, you know, seeing and hearing things. Nobody's here. Go back to eating grass. Just turn around. Oh no. Ah! No, come back here! No! 
Get back here. There we go. Oh! Oh! <gasps> we did it. <laughs> we have a mount. Okay. No. It's like, no. I don't want to. Good. Oh, wait. No, that's not what I want to do. All right. I mean, we can't keep this, but... We do have... Transportation now. This is good. Nice, 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 nice. It's not very reliable transportation, but uh, we'll take it. Beetle! Oh my gosh, hi. Hello. Um. Oh no. <laughs> I want to stop. It won't stop. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Oh no. Oh no! Okay, I just I just wanna go talk to this dude, please. Thank you. He's probably gonna fuss at me that I've brought him a deer and not a horse. <laughs> oh my gosh. Welcome to my stable. We deal in all things horse related. We also double as an inn. It seems you're not a member yet. Our stable uses the Stable Association's membership system so you'll need to register if you want to use it may i ask for your name oh. link all right mr link there you're all signed up now would you like me to tell you about the stable system sure i'm pretty sure i know but to make sure there's no changes oh. then allow me to explain you can board with your horse companions with us then summon them as you please from our network of stables you may have come across wild horses during your travel. Hmm. If you catch one and ride it here to register, it will become your horse companion. All right. Cool. Oh. Welcome to our stable. Uh, okay. Easy enough. This is the same. Hmm. No problem. Let me just... Uh. <laughs> that's not a horse. <laughs> For the love of Hylia, that's not a horse. We only board horses here, stranger. No exceptions. Oh. Huh? According to our books, you entrusted a horse to us once before. Apologies. I'll go ahead and register any horse you had before. Just a moment. Oh. Wait, what? Hmm. Oh! My goodness! Oh, it's from... Oh, we have horses. Uh, yeah, I want to take a horse. Yeah. Take a boulder. Oh my gosh, it's pulled over all of the horses from Breath of the Wild. Okay. Wait, what am I thinking? Completely forgot. P pony points? I'm so confused. All right. That's right. It's a reward system you can use at stables. In short, every time you use the service, you get points. No matter what stable you go to, you can get points for lodging there, registering a horse, stuff like that. Here's a little something to mark your first visit to Wetland Stable. You get a pony point. Points needed for the next reward. Two. Okay. Nice. You can trade your pony points for prizes at the ledger counter over there. Oh, okay. Yes, I want to... Alright, you're free. Hi, Apona! My friend! My best friend! Yeah, I think we can just stay... Oh, wait, we don't have any money. Do we? We're broke! Because somebody took our clothes and apparently took our wallet. Hi! I want to talk to everyone! Hi. Sabak. Sabak. Don't quote me on this, but I heard there are strange ruins in Kakariko village. And by strange, I mean ring-shaped. Ever heard of such a thing? I know that since the upheaval, there's been no shortage of strange sightings and wacky discoveries. But ring-shaped ruins? Can it- you get more bizarre than that? Oh, so they call it the upheaval, so it seems like it might have been at least a little while since things happened? All right, they have a name for it already. Yeah. Hey there, are you a fellow traveler on the journey of life? Don't recognize me? It's me, Beetle. If you for 
yet my beetle-shaped pack is right here to remind you. In this topsy-turvy world, there's only one direction to go. Forward. So when I travel, it's forward all the way. I can sell you bugs of the highest quality, and if you need anything else on your life journey, I can sell you that too. Short on rupees? Don't worry, I'll buy anything you don't want weighing you down. And what better way to lighten up than sell your rocks? Gemstones in particular fetch a high price. Well then, what will it be? Are you okay, small child? Good evening, Mr. Uh, Mr. Customer, sir. We're to the wise. While the sun is down, don't even think about wandering into the forest near here. We've got a monster problem. A scary one moved in and made a forest. I mean, fortress. I mean, fortress. Anyway, it's E-A-B. Bad news. And it brought some other monsters with it. And look! And I worked so hard to build a well, and now I can't even use it. And I mean, it's not that hard to make a new well, but... What if the monst monst monster, monster decides to raid us? I can't sleep. I can barely talk. Aww. I thought maybe I'd try a sneak attack from behind. You know, stay out of their field of view. It did not go well. If someone could at least get that big one to leave. Aww. Well, keep wishing. But for now, you really should steer clear of the forest. Oh. Well, I wonder what the monster they're referring to is. But, oh, just the mob one? Oh. Hi. I mean, yeah, that's it's it's powerful. I think we can take it. The power of sheer will. All right, let's try a new uh Do, 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 do. There we go. Uh, this works. <laughs> Everything's on fire, including me. All right. What was that? Oh, you threw rocks at me. How dare you, good sir? Oh no. Uh, no. No. Uh, please, please go away, good sir. Oh, that works. All right, oosh. Construct bow broke. Hi. Uh. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> Let's, uh... Oh, shoot. Locking it! Ah, uh, what was that? I don't know. Oh, wait. It's shield. Uh, wait. Probably because things are on fire. All right. There we go. Oh. Okay. Ah! Things are on fire. I should not be on fire. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. Okay, small child. I would s say that... Oh, no, you're still there. I figured you would be asleep by now, but I guess not. It was you, wasn't it, Mr. Customer? You got rid of that nasty monster. <laughs> I knew it! I thought I saw you among the trees, putting in the work and getting rid of that nasty monster. Ooh. Amazing! Thank you! I was so scared! I'm just a kid, so I don't have any money or anything. But I have to reward you for getting rid of that monster, so... <gasps> I'll give you two pony points. <gasps> yes! That means we can get the <laughs> thing. Now I can welcome our customers with a peace of mind. Thank you so much. Receive reward. Hi. Hi, yes. I'll be right with you. Hmm. You'd like to get your pony points for reward, right? Oh. Your reward for three points is a towing harness. A durable harness that comes as a set with a horse saddle. Attach a wagon or other objects to the harness for a horse to tow. I am... Um, very fascinated by... What I can do with this. 
If you save up just two more points, oh. the horse god fabric will be yours. What? It's a one-of-a-kind item you can bring to the Hatano Village Dye Shop over in Nakluda. We appreciate your patronage. I want some horse god fabric. Oh, wait, there's parts here? Ah, Powder, please don't run into the river. Please no. Please no. Oh. Oh, can I make a wagon then? Right. Okay. Let's swap out a Pona for Macchiato. Oh. oh, look. How fantastic. If you attach a harness to a stable wagon, you can transport bulky materials. Mm. All right. Have you heard about the trouble in Zora's domain? All of that good water polluted by some kind of mysterious muck. As far as I know, no one knows where it came from. Ganondorf! I can tell you! It's terrible for the Zora, of course, being water folk. I'm not sure how they'll manage. Zora's domain is in the east past the Lanair wetlands. I used to recommend it to tourists, but well... Do you, can you really recommend anywhere to tourists right now? Uh... Have you seen Hyrule? The entire thing is a mess. All right. Macchiato. Huh? Let's go. We must build us a wagon. Huh. All right. I'm going to probably tell guess this is like wagon parts. Hyrule Restoration. Come find us. Oh! Well, we're gonna build a wagon. That's what we're gonna do. This might be a bit big, but uh... I really do like how this game is all about building, considering like how much destruction there was in the old game. That is a A plus quality right there. Uh uh <laughs> I am not going to get a straight wagon wheel like this. Uh I think I need a flatter area. Probably. Probably. No! That is not how a wagon works. Link needs an engineering degree. Oh! Did we finally get it? Yes! Alright. Uh, this feels like a... Uh, the Legend of Zelda, Link gets an engineering degree. <gasps> Oh my gosh, or better yet, Oregon Trail. There's a wagon here. I don't want to attach it to the wheels, but... Is this fine? I don't think that's attached to the wheels. Does it roll? Uh, maybe. Let's, let's see. Let's test it. It rolls! Success! <laughs> well, now that we have this, can we attach it to this? Yes! I wonder if our house is still here since we have horses from Breath of the Wild. Is our house still there? I don't know. All right. Uh, I believe in you. This is, uh, I'm so sorry, Macchiato. I believe in you. Oh no. Oh no, Macchiato, I'm so sorry. Uh, this is fair. Uh, can we pull it this way then? Um, it's trying so, Macchiato. You're such a good horse. I believe in you. <gasps> you did it! You're such a good boy! Look!
Look at this. Wait, where did our load go? Well, we might have lost our cargo. That's fine. We can bring that over. That's easy enough. Oh, there's a lot of rocks. Good enough. What is that? missed but that's fine oh hi oh hi uh no i didn't mean to throw my torch ah uh, hi ow oh shoot i don't have anything equipped that's the problem How do you ask a horse for forgiveness? Oh no! A wagon! A beautiful wagon! Where's the button for lay down and weep? Uh. Macchiato, I'm so sorry. Macchiato, come here. Come here, friend. I'll keep you safe. Please stay here. Please stay here while I... I get rid of this... Sh these hooligans. Once and for all. I think if I can shoot it in the head. Okay, uh... No. No, don't throw it! Why do I always pick fights with things bigger than me? No, 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 no. You're very fast. I'm sorry. You know what? I can climb. Nope. Ha. Oh, bird. No, wait. No, ow, rude. Whoa! Did it just throw that thing at me? Did that flying thing just pick up a bacoblin to throw at me? The gall! The absolute gall! I can't even be mad. I mean, I'm kind of impressed. The, the monsters are uh, evolving. Come here, fight me. Okay, that takes that out. Oh, shoot! Okay, whoosh. Oh, no! No, 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 no. Okay, so now it can't throw it at me. Now, now I'm a little safer. What is, what is that thing? I want to collect its... Arrowcuda. All right. Uh, I need a... I need a... I need to set things on fire. Uh, when in doubt, set things on fire! A lot of fire. Okay, oosh. If I can take out one of these guys. Oosh, this will be... Oh. 
Oh my gosh! Just run! I need a weapon! Thick stick. Alright. Uh, I need to- Oh no! I can't run! Ah! Why am I so weak? No! Okay, we got some guts. Lovely. Okay, you can throw rocks at me, but I'm still a bit safer. Because I can at least stun you guys. And the rocks won't do so much damage. And you know what? I can also... Oh, shoot. Bomb arrows! Yes! Bomb flowers are my best friend. Please die. Please die a lot. Okay. Whoosh. How are you not dead yet? Okay. Uh, Construct bow. Yes, but also this. Okay, uh... Let's eat a little bit of food. Okay, uh... That's fine. Uh... Well... Not so fine. Can I set it on fire? I can. All right. Oh! We survived! <laughs> exactly. Arson solves everything. Monsters? Arson. There's a tower. Can we use this like a Sheikah tower? Oh, we're just collecting weapons? <laughs> okay. Okay, let's just leave Macchiato here for a little bit. While we go exploring. Might have been reconstructing stuff. Uh... I can imagine this might be someone's laboratory. So, how do we get up here? Look out, landing. Okay. Oh, well. Let me up, please. Good. Wait. Okay. Oh, well, there's apparently a ladder. Or, like, stairs over there. Alright. It's a little... Little settlement. Oh, wait, is this the fountain area? Oh, hi. I don't believe it. No. Link, where have you been this whole time? We hope you come back soon. Then you didn't. Now you have. Where's Princess Zelda? Did, you didn't bring her with you? Whatever happened, please go talk to Pira first and foremost. She's up in her research lab. That's on the north side of our fort, on the second floor. Hurry. Okay, so I guess we might have needed to go over here. Alright, well, I accidentally... Oh, hi, Robbie! <gasps> it's Robbie! <laughs> what an excellent night! <gasps> hey! Hey, you! Where have you been? Yes! <gasps> Don't answer that! Tell me later! For now, you should hurry and go talk to Pira. She's been in a tizzy ever since you and the princess disappeared. She's in the building with the telescope, up on the second floor. Go and see her and give her some peace of mind, will ya? Oh, hi! Is that... Jusha? That hair, those eyes... Did it... Doc? Oh! Dr. Pira! The swordsman! The swordsman has returned! <gasps> I'm... What? <gasps> oh! Okay. Now where have you been? Well, she's not a K 
kid anymore. Linky, you're not a ghost, are you? How long have I been away? Hey. That looks interesting. Did she fix herself in the time between Breath of the Wild and now, or...? What exactly happened? A lot. I don't even know where to start. Uh, we resurrected an ancient evil? Uh, I guess that's the goodest place of any to start. So when you and Princess Zelda go beneath Hyrule Castle, you discover a mysterious mummy, which suddenly reanimates. Yes. Then Zelda falls into a fissure and vanishes. So I guess she did go to the past. That must have been when the castle rose and the ruins fell. Then, later, you wake up on a sky island, saved by the arm that was stuck to the mummy. Well, it was more than just the arm, but... ...from an unusual creature. Hmm. And learn that your new arm belonged to someone named Rauru. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Master sword disappears. Oh, that too, yes. You hear the princess's voice and find your way here. Yeah. That, that's a pretty accurate summary. Um, we also, you know, uh, got some horses and uh, set a wagon on fire. We did find some clothes. So that that's pretty good. What? Then. What? Are you saying you came from up there? Uh, yep, that, that's pretty accurate. This Raru you met, I think that's what the first king of Hyrule was named. Hmm. Are they one and the same? So much of this does not make sense yet. But I'm certain that the mummy you found under the castle must be related to the upheaval. How long ago did this happen? The castle rising up, the ruins falling down from the sky. The mummy must be connected to it somehow. Uh, very much so. He is not very happy that I exist. And uh, he thinks I'm weak, which, to be fair, right now I am. <gasps> and then the most important detail of all. You sure that you heard the princess speak to you? I'm pretty sure uh, we, we've we done this whole song and dance before. <laughs> I mean, maybe not with time travel. Uh, but uh, how long ago did this happen? I, I have questions about the timing. She gave you a clear message to find her. If that truly was the princess, then that means she's alive. Yes. Maybe she's trapped beneath the castle and needs help. Mm -hmm. That settles it. I know you only just returned, Link. But I need you to meet up with the search party up by Hyrule Castle. They've been searching tirelessly for you two. The captain in charge of the search is named Haas. Work with him to find the princess as quickly as you can. Yes. I know that mummy may be s still lurking somewhere around there. Which is concerning, to say the least, but we have more immediate problems to deal with right now. I'm counting on you, Linky. I mean, it probably has been a few years, maybe? I mean... Robbie's the same age he was. Alright. The highest authority on ancient technology. She served Princess Zelda's family much of her life and worked with the princess to research the Zonai civilization. Most recently, they started an investigation into the outbreak of gloom. She's used herself as a test subject in her experiments. Despite being over a century in age, she's reversed her aging to the extreme and actually looked like a child not too long ago. Yeah! So at least she's, you know... Uh... You know... She's looking... Or the age she should. But I don't know, like, if she reversed some of the effects of what she did. So, I mean, she could have also just aged. We don't know how many years it has been between the end of the calamity and now. I see things. 
Why are they chained down? How dare you? Madam, I want to steal your hot air balloon. So these balloon things that fell from the sky are called Zonai devices. There's still so much we don't know about them. But trust my boss, Pira, to take a thing we know so little about and turn it into something useful. She's the sharpest person in Hyrule. A creative genius. Uh... Okay, well... I'm gonna, can I steal it? <gasps> Wait a minute! What do you think you're doing? Stealing? <laughs> Josha needs that for her chasm research. Don't touch any of it without her permission. I'll get in big trouble if you do. Where'd uh, all the nonsense around the castle go? Uh, okay. <laughs> what is this? Oh, this is... Oh! I'm sad. I thought it was just a regular silent princess. I dedicate this monument to the memory of the souls lost to the calamity. Okay. I, I feel wrong taking the silent princess. I I feel very very wrong stealing flowers from a grave. Yep. Uh let's uh, not do that. So I don't think it could have been too long after the calamity cuz it looks like the rebuilding efforts are just kind of starting and then, you know, everything got squashed. Okay, well. This works. Uh, Macchiato, can you get yourself unstuck? Good job! You're such a smart little horse. Oh, you didn't quite. Let's try that again. Good job, such a smart horsey. Good job, good job. You're, s you're so, so good. Such a good horsey. I still want to see if I can feed you an apple. Oh! <gasps> you're such a good horsey! <laughs> I don't know if we're supposed to be here, but... Map seems to say so. So, uh... I guess as long as maybe we're not going into the chasms... We're fine? Uh, that's what I'm gonna tell myself. But, uh... The, uh, air here seems to be, uh, pretty angry. Pretty angry air. Hi. Whoa. No, it can't be him. I can't allow anyone past here. Ooh. This area is restricted only to those involved in the search for Princess Zelda. This is by direct order of Captain Hawes. Uh, if you insist on passing, you'll need permission from the captain. He should be in the first gatehouse, up at the end of this road. He's too busy, I guess. Oh. Are you wearing a pot? Uh... I admire your enthusiasm, but you might want to up your gear. That said, I am wearing just a tunic, so maybe I'm not the first best person to ask. Uh, <laughs> did you help come up here to help look for J Princess Zelda too? Yeah, me and a few others had the same idea. We all owe a great deal to the princess. We were hoping to help anyway. Mm. But the captain is way up on the top of this gatehouse there. Doesn't look like he's coming down anytime soon. We just showed up without being asked, so, uh, best stay out of the way until we can help somehow. Keep searching! You the captain? You- you have a feather on your hat, so... Sorry, but I'm in the middle of something. Huh? Link, is that you? You're alive and all in one piece, it looks like. Does that mean Princess Zelda is safe too? Kinda? Sort of. She's not dead, so that counts for something, right? Uh, but uh, otherwise, yeah, it's terrible news. What a relief. Um, huh? Hang on, you're alone, but you heard the princess calling out to you? And you're here to help with the search? I see. Uh, maybe I don't. I'm a little confused, but that doesn't matter right now. What matters is continuing our search for Princess Zelda. Hmm. I'm relieved to see you come up here and help us out, though. We need some good news. The sheer amount of gloom has gotten overwhelming. Our work carries on, but we've been a bit dead in the water. Huh? 
Oh. Captain, it's Princess Zelda. What? Uh. Mm? Princess Zelda, she's safe. Uh. Well. Bye. <laughs> um. Huh? Wait, what? Yeah, uh, I'm with you, dude. Um. Madam? Madam? Get the wagon flying away. The princess just flew away. Hmm? You, you saw that too, Link. You saw Princess Zelda turn into light and fly off. Right? How strange. This, this is an emergency situation. Uh, that's mm. what I was kind of trying to tell you. Why would she leave without saying a word to us? We need to let Pira know about this as soon as possible. Considering what we just witnessed, I think it will make sense for us to withdraw. But it will take a bit. Please, you must tell her about what happened here as soon as possible. Madam? Madam, why do you say look for uh, you and then fly away? Could you be a little less cryptic? Please and thank you. I am so confused what's happening with Princess. This feels a bit like Skyward Sword. We're just like chasing her down while she's doing her own thing. Hey, this area is off limits while we conduct our search for Princess Zelda and Link. Um, I'm Link! You can't just come wandering in here like that. Link, it's you! Uh, you could say all that before you recognized me. Uh, uh, is it the hair? The hair, the the clothes, uh, the new tattoos, uh, the whole new arm. Uh, okay, this is fair. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had no idea you had returned. Wait, if you're back, does that mean we don't need the search party anymore? It's complicated, okay? <laughs> huh? You should go talk to Captain Hawes. He's leading the search efforts here from the first gate up how up ahead. Yeah, we talked to him. We saw Zelda fly off. Uh, like I said, it's complicated. Oh? What, Princess Zelda? I'll ask the captain for the details. You better hurry and see. Okay. At least we do, you know, kind of explain it to him. Uh, so we found Zelda. Uh, that we lost her again. I'm not very good at the search and rescue thing. Hmm. Well, did you find anything? You're telling me Princess Zelda was at the castle and then she transformed into light and flew off? Uh... I've gotta say, your stories are always so wild. Well, I mean, I kind of was dead for a hundred years and, you know, uh, we, we, we had... You want to talk! You turned yourself into a child! Don't judge me. But if you're telling me that's what you saw, then I've got to believe it. I have witnesses. Sounds like we need to change our approach. Since the princess flew off, maybe we should redirect our efforts and dig into the upheaval. For now, at least. I've already got a few regions in mind to start exploring. I bet we'll pick up clues about where she flew off to as we look around. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you've still got the pure pad, right? Can I see it for a sec? It's a little worse for wear, but seems to be functioning fine. Map, map, map. Aha! Ah. Oh, right. I forgot that before we can look at your overall map of Hyrule, we need to add map data from around Lookout Landing. And for that, we need our Skyview Tower. Josha, what's the size of the Skyview Tower right now? Huh. Let me see. Outwardly, the structure looks to be complete. Mm, but... Oh, but the travel point is still go undergoing final adjustments. Hmm. The travel point needs tweaking. Sounds like I better get cracking. Sorry about this, Linky. I'll fix it up quick, so just hang tight. In the meantime, why don't we rest up? You must be pretty tired. The emergency shelter is just the spot for you. 
It has three beds and a kitchen, so it's well stocked for getting some rest and rejuvenating yourself. If you want more info? Talk to the soldier who's watching over everything from the center, right where the emergency shelter entrance is. If you need clothing for your travels, yes, mm -hmm. you should go to a moob shop. All right, I'll be over by a Skyview Tower, so just let me, when you're ready to head out, just let me know. Yeah. All right, Josha, let's work on our final preparations for the tower. I'll handle the travel point. Check it. Josha, you're in charge of the switch. Okay, Doc. You can count on me. All right, that seems like a good place to end it. I think we had a pretty productive day. Let's see, what all has happened? We awoke an ancient evil. We kind of destroyed the master sword. We lost Zelda. Someone stole our clothes. We got a new arm. We made it back to Hyrule. We met Pura, who is now older, and Robbie. Everything is in chaos. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Wait, no, we met Zelda at Hyrule Castle. And then she turned into light and disappeared just flew away into the sky which i'm very confused about because she told us to find her we find her and she flies away zelda what oh and she also kind of stole our master sword so now not only is the master sword destroyed it's just gone just gone i'm still a little bit confused about what's going on with zelda and all of that but uh that's fine we're just in the beginning of the game so we'll run around explore and get some answers soon i'm gonna run around exploring like every nook and cranny and i'm just super excited for it this game is good it's so good it's everything i hoped for and more that's all i can say it's amazing i love it i'm so happy all right my beautiful beans and things you know what time it is it's time to read some comments our first comment is by red the weeb as for how long it has been in between, my guess is likely six or seven years or so since the end of the Calamity, as some of the NPCs now have families or some characters have grown up, making Link and Zelda in their mid-twenties basically, apart from the hundred years they technically lived in the Breath of the Wild time skip. Either way, the world of Tears of the Kingdom has so much love for all the small details and lore of the games. Thank you so much for that comment and for clarifying because I had no clue. I really haven't got that far into the game at all, so I don't definitely needed that clarification even now. So I'm really excited to see all of the changes that have went on in those few years. This is just making me look more forward to all the things in this game. So thank you so much for that comment. Our next comment is by Anthony Nicholas. Our boy Link seems to have been nerfed beyond his Breath of the Wild self. The earliest enemies take two hits to off Link and getting armor upgraded by the great fairies is locked by a pain of a four part side quest instead of paying them a fine. If they were hidden in the depths, it'd be relatively more convenient and would incentivize exploring them other than getting a certain ability in the depths located underneath the Temple of Time on the surface that streamlines and enhances Ultrahan by making it more, and forgive the awful pun, handy to use after finishing off a certain comical boss we've seen in Breath of the Wild. First things first, I will not forgive the pun. <laughs> But yeah, it does seem like it's much easier to die in Tears of the Kingdom than it was in Breath of the Wild. But it honestly makes a lot of sense for a lot of reasons. One, I think the developers are expecting that you've played Breath of the Wild so you know how most of the mechanics work and how battle works. So coming into Tears of the Kingdom, if you've played Breath of the Wild, gives you sort of an advantage to how all the basic mechanics work. So it makes sense they would make the beginning parts a little bit harder. Also in Breath of the Wild, he just woke up from a hundred years nap. So while he is weakened from dying, he is, I think, in much better shape than he is at the beginning of Tears of the Kingdom, where he has his arm completely destroyed, has to have his arm replaced with a zombie hand, and he's got Ganon gunk corruption swirling all throughout his body that he kind of needs to purify. And add to that the fact that Ganondorf has fully reanimated and reawakened and is no longer sealed in any way, it would make sense that his power and corruption would make the monsters stronger, which seems to be the case. So really it does make sense on a mechanics level based on the fact that most people are going to have experience with Breath of the Wild. And 
And it makes sense story-wise given Link's condition and Ganondorf's reawakening. So I can't really complain that they've made the beginning of the game harder. Actually, I kind of appreciate it because I feel like if you had the same starting level difficulty as you did with Breath of the Wild, where you're just learning the basic mechanics for the first time, it would feel way too easy. So I have like this challenge. It's not too challenging and it makes sense. So I have no problems with this. Though current day Kathy is going to have to disagree with you on the depths because I have actually really enjoyed that. It's probably what I have spent the most of my time doing in this game thus far. I might have a slight addiction to running around exploring that area. But other than that, I won't say too much because I don't want to spoil things. But anyways, thank you for your comment. That's going to be it for today. And as always, have a good day, have a good night, wherever and whenever you are, and I'll see you all soon.